This video will guide you through the installation procedure for the SRAM Eagle Access Drivetrain System. Eagle Access offers unprecedented personalization and control, making the relationship between machine and rider deeper than ever. View a full list of tools and supplies in the video description below, and review the user manual at sram.com forward slash service. Install a charged SRAM battery into the derailleur. The access controller must be paired with the derailleur to transmit shift commands. Press and hold the access button until the green LED blinks slowly, then release. Press and hold the access button on the controller until the green LED blinks quickly, then release. Press and release the access button on the derailleur to end the pairing session, or wait 30 seconds for the session to time out. The pairing process does not need to be repeated when the batteries are removed or replaced. However, if any component is replaced, the pairing process must be repeated. The access controller can be mounted to the handlebar with a discrete clamp or a SRAM Matchmaker X clamp. For discrete clamp installation, apply friction paste to the clamp when mounting to carbon fiber handlebars. Slide the clamp onto the bar. The mounting hole plug in the controller can be removed to determine the best location for your setup. Reinstall the bolt in the unused bolt hole. Install the controller onto the clamp. Adjust the clamp to the desired location and tighten the bolt. The SRAM Matchmaker X allows the brake lever and access controller to be mounted to the same clamp. Set the controller to the desired location and tighten the bolts. Use a rear derailleur alignment tool to make sure the derailleur hanger is straight. A bent derailleur hanger can impact shifting performance. Shift the derailleur into the fully outboard position. Do not apply grease to the mounting bolt or derailleur hanger threads. Install the derailleur onto the hanger. Make sure there's no gap between the B-Adjust washer and the derailleur hanger. Tighten the derailleur bolt. For full suspension bicycles, when measuring the chain, the rear shock must be fully compressed. Deflate or remove the rear shock if necessary. Wrap the chain around the chain ring and the largest cog. Make sure the chain is fully seated on the chain ring and cog before sizing. Bring the ends of the chain together. For hardtail bicycles, add two outer links and two inner links where the chain starts to overlap. For full suspension bicycles, add one outer link and one inner link where the chain starts to overlap. Use a chain breaker tool to break the chain at the inner link. Rotate the derailleur cage forward and press the cage lock button to lock the derailleur in the extended position. The derailleur is spring-loaded and will return from the locked position rapidly. Keep fingers clear of pinch points. Place the chain on the smallest cassette cog. Route the chain through the derailleur pulleys. Install the power lock. Pull the ends of the chain together and press the links together. The arrow on the power lock must point in the direction of chain travel before locking it into place. Once locked, the power lock cannot be disconnected. Release the cage lock by rotating the cage forward, then carefully letting it return to the unlocked position. Check that the two halves of the power lock are properly aligned. Rotate the crank until the power lock is above the chainstay. Apply the rear brake and firmly push the crank arm down to lock the power lock. You should hear and feel the power lock click into place.
Check the power lock by hand to make sure it moves freely. The power lock is designed for one-time use only. The power lock can only be removed with master link pliers and must not be reused. Install a new power lock each time a new chain is installed. For full suspension bicycles, measure the chain gap while the bicycle is in the sag position. Release air from the shock if necessary. Shift the derailleur inboard to the largest cog. Install the chain gap adjustment gauge onto the upper pulley wheel. Check if the largest teeth of the largest cassette cog align with the groove outline on the gauge. To make an adjustment, rotate the derailleur clockwise around the B-adjust washer to relieve tension on the B-adjust screw. Turn the B-adjust screw, then release the derailleur. Install the gauge to check the adjustment. Repeat this procedure until the cog aligns with the gauge. Shift the chain into the second to largest cog. Align the pulley wheel with the center of the second to largest cog by adjusting the derailleur. Press and hold the controller access button while pressing the paddle. Press downward on the paddle to adjust the derailleur inboard and press upward on the paddle to adjust the derailleur outboard. The derailleur may not appear to move. Watch for the derailleur LED to flash to confirm the derailleur executed the command. Shift the derailleur inboard to the largest cog. Adjust the low limit screw so that it lightly contacts the outer link of the derailleur, then back the screw out one quarter turn. Shift the derailleur outboard to the smallest cog. Adjust the high limit screw until it lightly touches the inner link of the derailleur, then back the screw out one quarter turn. Derailleur shift performance can be optimized and unwanted rasping noise is eliminated by fine-tuning the derailleur position with micro-adjusts. Press and hold the access button while pressing the controller paddle downward to adjust the derailleur outboard. Press and hold the access button while pressing the controller paddle upward to adjust the derailleur inboard. The derailleur may not appear to move. Watch for the derailleur LED to blink to confirm the derailleur executed the command. After your SRAM access components are installed and set up on your bicycle, download the SRAM Access app, available for free in the app stores. Use the app to create your account, add your components, and customize your SRAM access experience. This concludes the installation procedure for the SRAM Eagle Access Drivetrain System.